People have told me that I have a soft power. A philosophy I've discovered on life is that it's all the same love being passed around from each person we meet to the next. I was deeply introverted. Maybe I felt more alone than I was, but I was really just sitting there alone in my room. Music was just a way for my world to be way more expansive. I would sing in my bathroom for hours and hours and hours a day. That was where everything started. My dad was interested in Indian instruments like harmonium and tabla and kept that in the house. They were very connected to music. They were always singing and there was always a mix of lots of Bollywood songs, lots of old Indian guzzles. I actually find that when I listen to Indian music and when I listen to R&B, there's some similarities that I find. It's so sad and loving and uplifting at the same time. It felt very natural why I fell in love with it. The maternal lineage in my family is so powerful. It's, it's a very deeply spiritual line of women, especially on my mom's side. They're Reiki masters, they would be meditating. They were kind of evoking the spirit of this godlike maternal energy. And I was always encouraged to think of the world in that way, which I'm so grateful for. At least in the music I do, you definitely have to tap into your maternal energy. As soon as I discovered I could sing, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a singer, there's no doubt. And I would tell kids in school, you're not gonna see me in the sixth or seventh grade. Like, I'm gonna have a record deal. I'm not gonna be here. I would audition for Broadway musicals and there were no roles for little Indian girls. I don't see anyone like me. I think the first time I saw it was MIA, which was so deeply powerful for me. That's why I learned to write. If I become the best songwriter I can be, then I have a shot at this. From a very young age, I saw how the Indian women in my family, how much we were conditioned to believe that we needed men in our lives to just do anything. I think that's why I got so headstrong and also was encouraged by the women in my family. I just wanted to be hyper-independent. This is before any of the music had taken off. She was nannying, she did so many other jobs and stuff. She asked me if the wedding band that I was a part of in New York was doing auditions. The beginning of my career was as DIY as it got, making videos for $600 from my nanny job. <laughs> Not eating while nannying, and then saving that money to make a music video after six months of time or something. The only way to control quality for me in the beginning was to be very assertive of what I wanted, kind of take charge of a lot of things. She is a perfectionist. She wants it to be right. She doesn't stop until it is. I think a lot of people see that and see how it coexists next to an energy that maybe they're not as used to seeing with like a woman boss or leader. I think young artists that look up to her see her as a role model. I was really just out there figuring out the music industry on my own and there were a lot of challenges with it. So many challenges as a woman of color, like being heavily exoticized, people just telling me straight up that you can't expect to sign a deal if you're an Indian woman, it's just not gonna work. I was told that many times straight up and it never became about signing a deal at that point. I was just like, I don't, I don't need to rely on all these things. It, it's gonna work if it's meant to happen. I like to think of myself as in service to people to either help them heal or help them along in their journey in some way. I started to incorporate meditation into my live sets. It came from a very personal place. 
I just had a lot of my own specific traumas around nightclubs and bars. I just knew how chaotic and unsafe that environment can feel, especially because my audience is often a lot of young women and queer people. Like when you come to see music, you want to feel engaged and lost and connected to the crowd. I developed that part of the show of meditating and having everyone breathe together to just forget about the space for a bit and just be completely wrapped up in each other's energy for a moment. The music industry is very intense, but in a way that intensity actually accents the ways in which she's bringing such a light presence to everything that she does. I think fans are going to hear that on the new music. Yeah, I just finished a new album. I'm very excited for people to hear it. The universe around that album is connected to Lucid. It's in the same galaxy, but they're distant planets. <laughs> I think there are ethereal moments in this universe, but then there's also a lot of power and sensuality that maybe people were not expecting. I am a very strong believer in the energy that you put out. You attract the same energy, good and bad. In order to attract the community that I have right now around me today, it took a lot of internal work. If I'm intentionally putting out to the universe that I want to attract like kind, exciting, uplifting people that it's going to come back tenfold.